Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, all protocol observed. Congratulations to our graduates. May the Lord bless their day. Our scripture reading is from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 7. I've taken my message this morning as finishing well. The Bible says, I fought a good fight, I've finished the race, I've kept my faith. There are three things that Paul is proud of this morning. Number one, he says, I fought a good fight which is worth celebrating. Despite all challenges, you really fought, and finally you have made it. We congratulate you. Paul is proud of this kind of Becky. That's why he said the Becky, the fight is a good fight. And the second he says, I've finished the race. He identified himself as a winner, and he celebrated his finishing. And in a race, not everyone managed to, con to finish, but few managed to go through. Congratulations to you that you have made it. You have finished your race. And number three, he says, I've kept my faith. He acknowledges God's uh, unmerited favor. He acknowledges God's favor and grace that he has seen him through. So therefore, as we celebrate your graduation today, I encourage you in your life, in your future, in everything that you do, you just put your trust in the Lord and just keep your faith and trust God in everything that you do. I encourage you that God is there for you. God will see you through and will bless you. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this day. We bless your good name. We give you honor and the glory and praise. Thank you for the graduates. Thank you for ZSM staff and everyone. Thank you, Father, for all our visitors and our friends, our parents and all our sponsors. We thank you, Lord. We have given support to us, our graduates. We bless them this day. We pray, Father, for the blessings of the day. We thank you, Lord, for a very good favor and your grace upon our lives. In the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. The Minister of Mines and Mining Development, Honorable Winston Chitando, the Minister of State for Bulawayo Metropolitan Province, Honorable Judith Ngoe. The Mayor of the City of Bulawayo, His Worship, uh, Councillor Solomon Mguni. President of the Chamber of Mines of Zimbabwe, Ms. Elizabeth Nerwande. Chairman of the ZSM Board of Management, Mr. Onesimo Moyo. Members of the Board of Management and its subcommittees, mining executives, representatives of educational institutions in the Sadiq region, representatives of uh, educational institutions in Zimbabwe, ZSM staff, 
ZSM SRC President, ZSM Ambassadorial Team, distinguished virtual guests, graduates, and parents. Good morning, Luvukanjani, Mangwanani, and welcome to our 2020 virtual graduation ceremony. My name is Martin Januar, and I'm the acting training and operations manager. It is a great joy for us to welcome you virtually to our 26th graduation ceremony. This momentous occasion marks a significant milestone in our annual calendar and we celebrate it with a deep sense of gratitude to God and to all those that have contributed to the success and continued growth of the Zimbabwe School of Mines. This is not the day all of us imagined a day without processions, diploma handoffs, parties, and an overwhelming sense of joy and happiness. Graduating, however, is a tremendous achievement, certainly worth pausing to celebrate even in these unprecedented and extremely challenging circumstances. Today, we celebrate the graduation of 186 students we have committed to and succeeded in studying for careers in mining. I would like to congratulate all the graduating students and their family for their hard work and intensive study here at ZSM. All of you can be very, can be very proud of your wonderful achievement. To the families that are watching this unique graduation ceremony, I know this is not what you imagined, imagined for your daughter's or son's graduation, but I can assure you that they have reached their, this milestone because of your love and support. Graduates, you have accomplished one of uh, the early milestones of your life's college graduation. This is a major step in the journey of your lives, one that should be recognized for its immense significance. It is an act not only for personal commitment, but also of pride. You all worked hard to get to this day, and your work did not go to waste. A college diploma is a wonderful tool in this world, one that opens many doors for opportunity for anyone who works hard enough to attain one. But graduation is not an end goal in itself. It is instead a part of the larger journey of life. Life is a journey and all accomplishments you achieve during its course should be taken as starting points for future achievements. Your graduation should serve as such a launching pad, projecting you to wherever your future are meant to take you, whether you learn, you learn yourself a trade or continue with your education. As I said before, life is a journey. Don't stop growing once you get your diplomas. Life gives each of you opportunities to continue growing and to learn new skills that you will carry with you for the rest of your lives. Celebrate your achievements, but never stop learning. After all the hard work, I wish you an enjoyable graduation and a successful future. Most certainly, the support of family, friends, and loved ones has contributed immensely to the success of these individuals. They've, they've provided and will continue to provide the inspiration and motivation that as Zimbabwe School of Mines, we cannot always do. I thank you for this. This year, graduation theme, uh, embracing education 5.0 in producing innovative and par excellent graduates for the mining industry underscores our conviction that these graduates whom we are honoring today will go out and impact the world in many varied, varied ways by applying their talents for the development of a greater, better Zimbabwe and indeed the world. Please allow me to express my sincere gratitude to the Chairman of the Board of Management and his continued support and service to the school. Allow me also to sincerely acknowledge the good work of our Board of Management and its subcommittees, 
May I also equally commend the efforts of the principal, Mr. Gwaze, the management as well as the academic and administrative staff, and of course, our students for another successful academic year. I have the singular honor of presenting to you the 2019 ZSM graduating group. Members of the virtual audience, please join me in wholeheartedly con congratulating our graduates on this day that means so much to them and their families. Thank you. The guest of honor, Honorable Minister of Mines and Mining Development, Honorable Winston Chitando, the Minister of State for Blauayo Metropolitan Province, Honorable Judith Mube, the Mayor of the City of Bulawayo, Councillor Solomon Nguni, the President of the Chamber of Mines of Zimbabwe, Ms. Elizabeth Nerwande, the Chairman of the Zimbabwe School of Mines Board of Management, Mr. Onesimo Moyo, members of the Board of Management and its subcommittees, mining executives, representatives of educational institutions in Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe School of Mines staff, Zimbabwe School of Mines SRC president, all protocol observed. Ladies and gentlemen, the Zimbabwe School of Mines welcomes you all to the Zimbabwe School of Mines 26th virtual annual graduation and prize giving ceremony being themed Embracing Education 5.0 in producing innovative and par excellent uh, graduates for the mining industry. The business environment was characterized by all operational and economic challenges, which included high inflation and the devastating COVID-19 pandemic. The school continued uh, to operate on blended learning after a, a two-month uh, break due to COVID-19. Radical cost-cutting measures were instituted, hence the school managed to survive the year. Financial statements were done in accordance with the international uh, financial standards uh, and, and global uh, reporting standards based on appropriate accounting policies. However, external audit was delayed due to COVID-19 restrictions. Meanwhile, the virtual uh, audit process is still in progress. Preparations for the annual budget and the management accounts uh, reflecting the financial performance of the school were done and reported within the appropriate times. Monitored cash flow uh, forecasts and working capital was maintained on an ongoing uh, basis. Revenue from fees contributed 66% to the total revenue and the Chamber of Mines grant contributed 6% while the government contributed 10% in the financial period 2019. Fees were increased to align income to the hyperinflationary environment. Recurrent expenditure was increased by 306%. This is as a result of increase in price levels due to hyperinflation. Ever increasing price commodities affected the smooth operations of the school, resulting in activities being put on hold as a survival strategy. Capital expenditure, the school managed to raise a total of 585,000 uh, towards capital expenditure, which went towards the acquisition of a bus and implementation of the integrated college management uh, system. 
graduation uh, statistics, the year 2020 is witnessing a total of 186 students graduating at national diploma and higher national diploma. Uh, this is a, a total of uh, 125 males and 63 females. Females constitute 34% an improvement from the previous year's figure, which had 30%. On attachments, a total of uh, 175 students uh, are on attachment, uh, and a total of 134 uh, students did not uh, secure attachment. We also have a total of 17% that had to be stopped due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The school appeals to the minds and the Chamber of Mines to encourage its members to take students on attachment in the year 2021. We have a total of 396 students that are looking forward to be attached in the year 2021. Uh, the, the overall pass rate for Zimbabwe School of Mines stands at 88% compared to 96% for 2018. The school offers its gratitude to the academic committee and the academic staff for putting extra effort to attain such a high pass rate each year in the midst of a lot of challenges. The best overall student amassed 20 distinctions out of 20. Blended learning, the Zimbabwe School of Mines has introduced blended learning uh, intake, which is targeting mining cadets with experience. In, the intake shall admit 25 students per discipline for 2021. Mines are encouraged to develop their staff through this program. The first examinations under the Zimbabwe School of Mines exam board began on the 30th of November 2020 with two courses, metallurgical assaying and mine ventilation and environmental uh, engineering uh, being uh, put on the trial. The distance learning center Outreach and Technical Services Department, uh, flagship uh, of the school, has run a number of online courses in the year 2020, which include uh, principles of mining, basic mine design and feasibility, gold extraction, certificate in fundamentals of mining, certificate in fundamentals of strata control, Certificate in Metallurgical Analysis, Advanced Certificate in Fundamentals of Mining, Introduction to Mineral Processing, Fundamentals of Mine Geology, Technical and Financial Evaluation of Mining Projects, Mineral Exploration Techniques, and Mine Survey. The school still awaits approval from Higher Examinations Council for the Executive Diploma in mine management. School has managed to train 153 students on face-to-face -face lessons with the majority of those trained uh, from Mimosa and uh, Zimplatz uh, mines. These were trained in strata control and they give us a total of 108 students. Three students from Davis Granite were trained in, plant, in a plant operator's course. The school has this year attracted students from across Africa for its sought after short courses, including Tanzania, which has six students, Botswana, 11 students, Equatorial Guinea, four students, South Africa, three students. In view of the above, a total of 374 short course 
students have been trained in 2020. On another positive uh, development, females trained in the short courses accounted for 43%, which is an increase from the year-to-year -year average of 33% over the past five years. The department's future plans include diversifying course portfolios to enlarge the client base and better meet the needs of the mining industry. DLC future prospects uh, includes developing new courses which are metallurgical assay analysis for laboratory personnel, the development of a diploma in small scale mining and other short courses targeting executives in the mining industry and related industries will be offered. On students' welfare, the school had to suspend all sporting activities, first aid competitions and chaplains activities due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And on a sad note, the school lost two female students during the course of the year, namely Delight Nlovu, first year geology student in October 2020, and Kalistas Nyamunga, second year survey student in September 2020, all due to road traffic accidents. We convey once again our sincere condolences to their families and the ZSM community. Growth prospect, upward surge in demand for ZSM online courses in Zimbabwe and the, the region. Zimbabwe School of Mines is on course in the development of the Ministry of Mines and Mining Development's vision of a $12 billion mining industry by 2023 with a development of new courses aligned to the vision. Courses already developed include a certificate for small-scale mining, still being worked on is the coal bed methane certificate. Infrastructural development, uh, currently construction is at a standstill due to liquidity challenges. The school is in the process of finalizing on a memorandum of understanding with the IDBZ for the construction of a 360 capacity accommodation. The staff establishment has remained relatively stable over the last three years. However, it is with regret and great sadness that the school lost uh, one of its staff members, uh, Jennifer Chapepa, who was a senior warden due to a short illness. Two staff members uh, were dismissed from employment and we had one staff member resigning in the year 2020. Marketing, general marketing for courses shifted uh, focus to online and has seen responses rising increasingly uh, during the year. Governance issues established a risk management approach that provides a benchmark to identify, prioritize and manage risks while leveraging opportunities in our operations. The overall strategy for ZSM is focused on building a world-class training institution. The 2020 review process was underpinned by the need to remain afloat, albeit the global uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic. It is with great sorrow also that the school was robbed of one of its most hardworking academic uh, board committee chairperson and board member, Mr. Alex Zimbanete Mshoniwa. The ZSM com co community shall forever remember his unwavering support and contribution to the school. The school continues to appeal to the corporate world to assist with retooling of all laboratories at the school. The new norm has forced us to embrace blended learning, 
therefore ICT donations will go a long way in easing the burden. The school has survived the pandemic due to the immeasurable support from the industry, in particular the government uh, through the Ministry of Mines and Mining Development, the Chamber of Mines of Zimbabwe, and many of our stakeholders in mining and other sectors of the economy. It remains for me to thank the ZSM Board of Management and academic and non-academic staff members for bracing the pandemic and ensured completion of the academic year. Let me also seize this opportunity to announce that a new Zimbabwe School of Mines Board of Management term of office began in January 2021. We extend our sincere appreciation to the previous board whose term of office concluded in December 2020 for the sterling performance during their term of office. The school wishes the 2020 graduating group all the best in their careers. Amflope, Makorokoto, congratulations. Siabonga, Tatenda, thank you. Uh, good morning to you all, the graduates, the families of the graduates, the board and staff and student uh, st student family of the Zimbabwe School of Mines. This indeed is a very important day in the history of the Zimbabwe School of Mines and its stakeholders where we are witnessing the graduation of those who have invested a lot of effort to make this day a reality. I say well done to the graduates. I say well done to their families. For the mining industry to develop, there are three critical areas which are required. First is the existence of a mining resource. Secondly, the financial resource to enable funding of the development of the geological resource. But this will all come to nothing if we don't have the correct human resource. Hence, government over the years not only established the Zimbabwe School of Mines, but has and continues to support the school to ensure that it produces graduates of the highest caliber, something which the school has successfully done over the years. I also wish to take the opportunity to express my thanks and appreciation to the Chamber of Mines of Zimbabwe, which continues to be a very critical stakeholder and partner in the development of the school and in ensuring that the school maintains the high standards it is well known for. The Chamber of Mines not only facilitates the attachment of students, but also contributes to the financial 
running of the school. To the Chamber of Minds, I say thank you. Please, let's keep this partnership between the private sector and government, which is um, which we can see in the running of the Zimbabwe School of Minds. We are all aware that His Excellency came up with the 2030 vision for Zimbabwe to become a middle income economy. For this vision to become a reality and it is in the process of becoming a reality. The various sectors of the economy have to play their part to ensure that we increase productivity of the nation. And as far as the mining sector is concerned, a milestone of 12 billion was set to be achieved by the year 2023. Economic development, achievement of a, um, of a mid, upper middle income economy is not an event. It's a process. And this process is way underway. The 12 billion milestone it entails expansion of the various mineral sectors in the economy, which include, but not limited, to gold, diamonds, hydrocarbon, coal and hydrocarbons, chrome, and development of the steel sector, nickel, lithium, graphite and various other minerals. As you know, Zimbabwe is endowed with more than 40 minerals. The challenge I wish to give to the Zimbabwe School of Mines is to ensure, is for the Zimbabwe School of Mines to plan their work, to ensure that they align the short and long-term plans of the school to the vision 2030, to the milestones of 2023. In the milestone, as I indicated earlier on, there are new mining areas which are coming up. There are new areas where there is going to be an increase in skills. And the Zimbabwe School of Mines has to play its part to ensure that that gap is achieved. Examples include the coal and hydrocarbon sector, where there is a huge increase in coke production. It entails that it's important that we don't have to import skills to fill that gap. We do have the intention to have for liquids from coal, and it is important again that the Zimbabwe School of Mines aligns itself to ensure that they are, you know, uh, the, the, the skills are uh, established for this area. We have in the 12 billion milestone a significant increase in lithium production. Once again, it's an area which the School of Mines has to work closely with the Ministry to ensure that as we look at lithium value addition, that the school is equipped to provide graduates who can participate in this area. Other areas include, but not limited, to steel making, where there's going to be a huge interest in steel making facilities, as well as smelters. 
the Platinum Producers Association have indicated their willingness to participate in the value addition of Platinum locally, which entails the, the, uh, the establishment of best metal refinery and precious metal refineries. And once again, the School of Mines has to align itself to ensure that they start planning for the development of the necessary skills. I would like once again to congratulate the graduates, their families, the board staff of the Zimbabwe School of Mines and all other stakeholders for this landmark day where we have the 2020 graduates are getting their certificates and taking their place into the development of the mining industry. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. to present to you the 2019 Zimbabwe School of Mines graduates. Graduating with a national diploma in mining geology are Asam Lisa Chandahuka Chiyeza Elizabeth Chigogo Tony Chikambi Alan Mufaro Chinyani Mary Darawanda Lavmo Duve Tinodashe, Gavaza Winnet, Jera Precious, Joa Tanaka, Kuvarega Tanaka, Kwanisai Eddington Tanaka, Madzoto Abigail, Mafunga Alexis Tatenda, Manguiro Kevin Tatenda, Maziwana Gashirai Shelton, Nslanga Petronella and a lady, Moyolaki, Nsengei Chidochashe, Mubarwa Yemurai Pelgia, Munyuki Wendy, Muputa Charity, Muroji Tinashe, Musewe Tinashe Ronald, Musewe Zingo Charles, Mutswe Paida Moyo Raphael, Mutukura Godwill, Mubes Tulisiwe, Ndebele Krishna Jasper, Ndovuli Kualetu, Gwandingwa Emmanuel Terence, Ngiwane Regitemba, Umu James Kuziva Kwashe, Rundofa Robert Austin, Ruzwizo Malari, Shumba Anesu, Shumba Rutendo Praise, Tarasika Natasha Rumbizai, Taruo Nafelistas, Taru Inga Vimbai, Tinaro Tinotenda Shamein, Joushe Tichayeza. And graduating with a higher national diploma in mining geology is Mutale Valeris Piwe. Graduating with a national diploma in mining are Abidu Kenneth, Bere Bula, Chandiwana Tinashe Talent, Charakupa Precious Mimbai, Chifoja Shepherd, Chijena Yolanda, Chikuwa Petronella, Chinua Farai, Chinopere Kwei Tinashe Peter, Chinyemba Accent, Chiruka Hilton, Chitanzara Kudakwashe, 
Harry Bryan, Hobe Emmanuel Mzorodzi, Jaricha Tinashe, Kufa Kwepasi Androids, Kudzai, Kutekwa Tekwa Panashe, Madani Resti Solomon, Mafuki Ze Prosper, Mafunga Bernard, Magariro Oscar Toringepi, Magavu Moses, Maposa Kulegani, Maposa Amos, Marange Tafadzwa Rejoice, Matoka Faith Precious, Matekedu Tawanda John, Mpasa Tatenda, Mugwagwa Tatenda, Mugwambi Blessing Daniel, Mumba Tania Manyara, Mupama Onde Fidelis, Musabaya na Blessing, Musonza Tanyara Adwa, Mutumi Richiratizo, Mwezi Godfrey Tafadwa, Mwe Chari Chinyasha, Ndlovu Albert Jr., Mwenya Anele Jr., Nyeweza Nai Mkuzei, Ruvengo Ndangariro, Soganile Nkosikona. Tachiwona Anatolia, Takawarasha Princess, Tanyanyi wa Justice, Tafuma Tinashe Admire, Taimo Mesi Kudakwashe, Taurai Takuzwa Jeffias, Tiga Blessing Komborero, and Salange Aron. Graduating with a higher national diploma in mining, Chatiza Brighton, Esono Afang, Juan Esono, Musanga Anyway. Graduating with a national diploma in mine ventilation and environmental engineering, Dube Tandolengosi, Kashiri John, Kujinga Tatenda, Mavumo Melissa Chiedza, Makore Basil, Marata Natasha Tariro, Mashakada Tapiwa, Maka Albert Jr., Mukamuri Takazopiwa Mufaro, Chirishena Panache Jerry. Graduating with a national diploma in mine surveying, uh, Bishau Audrey Nyarazo, Chikomo Kaspa Takudzwa, Chiramba Tafadza Wayne, Deza Martin Farai, Ungwe Josiah, Kumara Justin Benjamin, Madzia Uswa Sharon, Mahari Taurai Timothy, Mafumo Vimbai, Mashowa Melissa, Masimura Bruno, Moyo Carlton, Moyo Kukuletu, Moyo Nyasha, Muwonga Forgiveness, Ndlovu Thesias, Norupi Tzutzai Oscar, Odien Mobile Prosper Prestige, Shoko Komberai Roy, Thomas Aina Wilika, Urayai Simbarashi. And graduating with a higher national diploma in mind surveying are Moyo Tatenda Israel, Pate Gamuchirai Matthew. Graduating with a national diploma in mineral processing and extractive metallurgy. Bakasa Ngonizashe Fidelis, Binya Natalis Pomingosi, Chiketa Tashinga, Chipunza Brenda, Chiundura Robin, Gonziru Wimbo, Guva Mombe, Tanyara Zawalta, Slatwayo Steve Farai, Slatwayo Hazel, Nsizio Godwin, Jena Fungai, Kanyere Mwele Rumbizai, Lawrence Myron Arthur, Madekere Thelma Tafadzwa, Makaza Tanaka Elliot, Matora Tendaishe, Mavuto Nelson Makusha, Mazuru Panache Colan, Mbano Sindiso Zwelile, Nsanga Blessing Farai, 
mkombe handsome, mpofu ayanda nonhlanhla mubonani pilot, mudzembwe grace nyasha, murovani zwa brian tapiwa, musengi trevor richard, mutuva lawrence tafadzwa, mubindi lawrence, mziringa caroline, mwanza edwin, Nguwe Calvin Gosilo Musa, Nguwe Pius Hanani Valentine, Nguwe Sandisiwe Sikwili, Ndewele Smiso Metembe, Nenduwa Trinity, Nenjirudo, Nira Anesu Edi, Nuku Tsepo, Shoko Don Alimon, Sivanda Deni Kosnat, Sivanda Ngosana, Sivanda Vusumuzi, Sima Ngosfusi Sovenekai, Tayeza Seviria, Tsuro Sharon, Vera Yvonne Paidamoyo. And graduating with a higher national diploma in mineral processing and extractive metallurgy, Chifura Padron, Chikumbu Ernest, Nago Kumbirai, Chuma Kush. Graduating with a national diploma in metallurgical assaying, uh, Chikami Anatolia Paidamoyo, Magaya Takudzwa Audrey, Muganji Tatenda, Murairwa Janiel Andrew, Ndimande Novuyo, Sivanda Nomakuku Michelle, and Chuma Given Godwill. Thank you. I am delighted to be with you today to present the 2020 graduation ceremony Zimbabwe School of Mines Special Awards for those graduates with academic distinctions and other achievements. We celebrate the success, hard work, dedication, commitment and sacrifice made. On behalf of the Zimbabwe School of Mines, I congratulate you on your remarkable accomplishment and wish you all the best for a prosperous future. And thank you.
name is Arnold Farai Shanji. I am the registrar. I am going to present the SRC vote of thanks as written by the SRC president for 2019, Blessing Mukwambi. All protocols observed. The ZSM, the ZSM SRA team offers its gratitude to the ZSM board of management, executive management, HODs, and all staff members for the great work during the tenure of our study at Zimbabwe School of Mines. To note is the support of the government and the mining industry, which saw the placement of students for attachment and also employment opportunities. As we have graduated today, we are optimistic that the future is going to be bright as evidenced by the several million dollar project that the government has embarked on. To our parents, as we celebrate together in this achievement, we shall never forget the sacrifice you made to ensure that we complete our studies. We are very grateful to the ZSM. We are very grateful to be ZSM students and we shall carry the name of the school as ambassadors. May the Lord, our good God, richly bless you all. I thank you.